Hi everyone, Chaplain Bert Campbell here. I'm so glad to spend the next few moments with you. Thank you for tuning in to these encouraging words together. Once again, this is our chance to join our hearts in faith before the Lord as we consider the words of Scripture, as we offer to Him our prayers, and in the process discover He has grace and mercy and strength and comfort and hope in all that we need. He supplies all of our needs according to His riches in Christ Jesus, which means there is always a reason for hope and always an opportunity to be encouraged as we come before the Lord. That's true no matter what else is happening around us. It can be spiraling seemingly out of control, but if we will turn to him and let him be our center, there is a real sustaining peace that he can bring. It's my prayer that you might discover for yourself his encouragement, his hope, his joy, even right now. Thanks for tuning in today. If you ever wish you could start over, have a new shot, a new opportunity. You know, many times as I record these videos, I select my scriptures. I even prepare a couple of written thoughts and I'll write them out. And uh, as I put this together and begin to film the video, I don't read off the page. I just speak from the heart, which means sometimes I stumble over my words. And sometimes you can easily tell that by watching me. And other times I think, oh no, that was a little ridiculous. I just need to start and stop again. And so I'll do that. I'll just pause. I'll, I'll even say to myself, start again and wait a moment so I can easily find the edit spot and start fresh once again. There's nobody else that films this. I just sit here at my desk and use the, the camera. So there are times when it just seems to flow and then there are times when I misspeak or I say things that just don't quite gel the way I want them to and I have to rethink it. And so it becomes a do-over moment. Sometimes in life we need that. Sometimes with people we need that. We might say the wrong thing. We might do the wrong thing. Sometimes we do so accidentally. Sometimes we do so with the best of intentions. We meant well, but how it came out and how it sounded or how it came across had unexpected ramifications. And then we need to find a way to make that right. And sometimes we're mad or frustrated or hurting. Or, or, or fearful and we lash out or we do something that dishonors God and dishonors his purpose. It's outright direct sin. Now, all of it is harmful. Some of it's unintentional. But sometimes we know dang well <laughs> what we have done and said, and we've done it anyway. And then pride wants to say, well, we were justified. And that pretty much almost always is a mistake. The good news is God will always give you the second chance. He'll let you start over. As long as you have breath, as long as you are, you and I, as we are willing to turn toward him, as we confess our error, confess our sin, confess our mistakes, he receives it. And as we turn from that, he offers us grace and mercy. Mercy is when he doesn't give us what we deserve. We might deserve punishment. We might deserve retribution. But instead, he spares us from that because he's a merciful God as we turn to him. Other times, we experience his grace. His grace is ability and favor that we don't deserve. Uh, maybe our actions have been such there's nothing we could do to merit God's goodness and grace in, in our lives. And yet he chooses to help us anyway and give us aid. That is his grace at work in us. God is a grace-filled God, a merciful God. And he wants to meet us even on our worst day. Consider what the Lord says in the book of Romans through the Apostle Paul. I'm going to read the first part of verse 22 and then verses 23 and 24 from this chapter. He writes and says, Righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. That's the first part of verse 22. Let me just pause there for a moment. He gives righteousness to who? All who believe. All who have faith in Jesus. All that turn to him. Not just those that have their act together, those that have made all the right decisions. I don't even know who that would be. The Bible is very clear that Jesus came to save sinners. 
In fact, earlier in this very chapter, we're told that there's no one righteous, not even one of us, that all of us, like sheep, have gone astray in sin. So how do we get a fresh start? How do we get the do-over? How are we made clean? Paul says that there is a righteousness, a cleansing, a, a, a return to right standing that is given through faith in Jesus. That means we believe and we choose to act on that belief. We actively trust him to change us, to cleanse us, to make us new. And then we endeavor to follow in his steps. Let me read it again and then I'll keep going. Righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. And then verse 23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely by his grace through the, the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. In other words, when Jesus died and went to the cross, that was for the whole world. That was to pay the penalty for all of our misdeeds, all of our errors, all of our mistakes, all of our outright sins, everything that we would do that brings about harm to ourselves or to others or to our relationship with God, either because we did it by mistake and we were we was unintentioned or we were misinformed or we just chose to lash out and did the wrong thing and we knew it. Regardless of the how and the why, there is a grace from God. There is um, a work of God that he offers because of what Jesus has done on the cross that means we can be justified. What's that mean? We can be set right again. Just as if I had never sinned. Justified had never sinned. That's how Billy Graham used to put it. And so that's the work of God in us. Which means if you need a fresh start, a do-over, God will give it to you. Right now, today. Not every person will. Sometimes people hold on to bitterness and pain and frustration. We all, frankly, have done that from time to time. But the Lord shows us the way. He's merciful with us that we might learn to be merciful with others. And if we'll confess our sins, if we'll say, yes, this verse is talking about me. I have sinned. Lord, I have fallen short of your glory. But Jesus, you died that I could be justified, set right again, made new given a clean slate. If you need that today, it's available. We just turn to him. You could say your own words. I'm going to say a prayer. And I'm going to ask that the Lord would meet us with his presence and power, that we would have an experience of his mercy, that we would have an experience of his grace as he makes us clean from the inside out. If you need a fresh start, today's your day. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you that your word is true. And I thank you for the tremendous hope that we find in the scripture. And as Paul wrote to those Roman believers way back then, we also hear your voice speaking to us. Lord, we confess we need you. We tend to get trapped in our sins. We tend to say the wrong thing, do the wrong thing, fall into error time and time again. It is the human nature. It's why we need you. But Lord, I thank you that for every heart that looks to you, every person, Lord, that looks to you, Jesus, to be our Lord, our Savior, the one who offers mercy and grace, as we turn to you and ask for your cleansing, you work in us time and time again. You never get tired of us coming to you, Lord. You meet us right where we are because your heart is to see us renewed, set free, forgiven, restored, made right, unencumbered by the heartaches and trials and errors of this life. Lord, I'm praying especially today, today who, for those who feel burdened by past words and actions that were inappropriate and wrong, regardless of the reason. Lord, we pray for your forgiveness today, and we thank you for your mercy and your grace. We choose to believe your word. We put our faith, Jesus, in who you are and what you accomplished at the cross. And because of who you are, Lord, I thank you that mercy and grace, forgiveness and cleansing is available to each and every single one of us, no matter what. Come and work that in us even now. 
In Christ's precious name we pray. Amen. Just like that, through simple faith and prayers that we offer those kinds of words to the Lord, as we mean it from our hearts, God meets us where we are. He sets things right again. And he gives us strength and ability to say no to sin and yes to him in his ways. It's my prayer that you have that very sense of renewal and a fresh start. Right now and any time you need him. That doesn't mean that God just uh, thinks that our sins don't matter. No, they do. But we don't have a way to fix them on our own which is why he is merciful and gracious. It's why Jesus went to the cross. Our sins cost him this terrible uh, price that he lovingly and voluntarily paid that you and I could live a different life, a new life. May you experience that sense of renewal even right now, today. Oh, what an encouraging thought. Thanks for tuning in today. Here at Friendship Village, we show these encouraging word videos Monday through Friday. Um, every day, the video is new at 4.30 in the afternoon right here on channel 2493. This video will repeat 8 o'clock tonight and then show again 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then we'll start another one after that. But uh, if uh, you're watching online, God bless you. Do you know someone that could be encouraged today? Can perhaps consider sending them the link to today's video. Also, if you're watching online, you can subscribe to these videos by clicking on the circle that will appear here um, in just a few moments or on the box below to see any in our, our past history. But if you want to see many of the other Encouraging Word videos, simply go to our YouTube page, youtube.com backslash the at symbol, then FVC Chaplain. And not only under the video tab will you find all of these encouraging word videos, but under the live tab you can see the live streams of our Sunday services, our Wednesday Bible studies, our hymn sings, many of our memorials, and so much more. May it all be an encouragement to you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to click on one or the other if you'd like, uh, if you'd like to be connected in that way. God bless you. We'll see you next time. <music>